Hello and welcome to our newest series on this channel. The game's called Dave the Diver. You'll see later why. I was just being quiet at the start, but now just credits going through, so I thought I'd say hello first. A new adventure, yeah. In, in the oceans of the blue hole. That's what it's called. Okay. Let's see what fascinating fish we can find. Dave, you got here quickly. Mm. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on a vacation, you know. <laughs> so, where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Okay. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like it. Such a nice view. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means... This could be an incredible business opportunity. Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. I don't have a good feeling about this. Sushi bar by the blue hole. Red lionfish. Measured at around 47 centimeters with many poisonous spines. And finally, you have forgotten about a harpoon. Used a long time ago. Do you aim first and then... There we go. Should get you back on track in no time. Alright, come back up to the boat. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? <laughs> For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Aha, uh -huh. well, listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper. But he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells the one-of-a-kind sushi. 
The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. I bet. So, why don't you join this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. I can't wait to check it out the sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready yet. Let's go and have a chat at the restaurant. Hey, Bancho. Are we all op ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You, uh, you're the fisherman that Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Alright, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. So you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and the land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is. One that ends without ever tasting the beauty of Mother Nature that Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. No! Kitty! Earthquake. An, an earthquake? Hmm. The interior is quite the mess. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to re cover the repair cost through doing business. In this state? Ha! In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't do. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go catch seven more. Oh, and the restaurant is only gonna be open in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision. Just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You'll need to get the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Well, this place is a mess. A rocky start to uh, our sushi business. It seems Bancho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Prepare sushi ingredients. Let's go for a dive. Small spotted dart. Once it reaches above 15 centimeters, one to five black dots start to begin on the side. As the dart gets older, more spots appear.
Surprised you can catch small fish like this with a harpoon. more than seven just to so we have some extra can't hurt to have some extra fish some variety over there. We're not going until we are full. Appreciating the the environment as well with all the corals and fish. Little seahorse down there. Where the jellyfish are. Multiple actually. And even the background has nice depth. Beautiful game. Alright. Well, that was our first fishing hole. I've played a bit of this game already privately, so I know a bit how things go. In case you surprised at how well I can do in some areas. Looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate we'll make boatloads of money in no time. My my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry back and get things done. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? The night sky looks beautiful. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hour starts. Look at this scenery. Looks amazing. such cute artwork. How are the preparations coming along, Banjo? I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? 
Then you're from Cobra. You're here to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I I don't understand. Cobra told me that you would be there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is here for that? But you. Wait, I never worked at a restaurant before. The guest will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces. And all other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Now I'll show you how to register an actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. So try registering that menu. That one is expensive. Let's go with that one. That probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace the items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Let's go with the ones that are more expensive. Red line fish. There you go. How long are you going to stand there and talk? Give me a green tea. Hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. There we go. Green tea. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Mm. That he really got my appetite going. Go get something to eat, perhaps. Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Go, go, bunch up! Yes. Come over here and take this food. Hello? Hello? You sent a package last week, say? What in the world? Let me check on her. Mm. Cobra didn't need. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we don't have to throw it out. It seems to such a waste to throw it out. Bansu Bancho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, alright. Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for our customers in a while. I'm kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. wanted to show you quickly I really find it cute how they have like custom Japanese art style for the little pictures in here cardinal usual found in shallow waters near rocks 5 to 20 centimeters long and features two fins on its back a big mouth big eyes many varieties are red already in color black spotted sea bream has a grayish blue body with several horizontal stripes that appear to be connected to yellow or gray spots in the center of each scale its ventral fin and cloacal fin are yellow 
orbicular batfish. Has a very thin disc-like body with bow-like ventral and stomach fins. It's a fan-shaped tail. Its fan-shaped tail accounts for a fifth of its body length. Blue Tang. It's Dory, basically. Lives in the lives in groups in coral reefs and is used to clear waters and strong currents. Many fish owners covet the blue tang, as it's one of the most popular aquarium fish. Rainbow Ras tends to be small in size and has a spindle-shaped body. Like many of its family, it goes through many color changes in its lifetime. Males have a greenish back and a yellowish yellow belly. Yellow back fossilier. Its dorsal fin is yellow in its youth. As it ages, the yellow parts of its body disappear and, bec and blue becomes its dominant color. Mediterranean parrotfish. Found in warm waters and near rocky coral reefs, where they usually eat algae and coral. But sometimes they eat small invertebrates. The females are red with yellow stripes. Red linefish. A fish measured at around 47 centimeters with many poisonous spines resembling the mane of a lion. And patterns similar to that of a zebra. And sea goldie. The male has a purple square outline on its side and long dorsal fin. It can be yellow to orange in color and has two purple stripes that connect its cheek to its stomach. Alright. Now if we look at this, let's go. Some green tea over here. Seems difficult, but once you got the hang of it, it's quite easy to pour the drinks. Especially at a later date. Some wasabi. This can get quite stressful at the start. Two, three, four, five. That's how I do it. Go, go, Bancho. And the last customer for today, it seems. Here you go. Venture Sushi closed for the day. We made 66. Here we go. Bancho approves. All right, that was our first day at work in the sushi bar. Phew, work's finally done for today. My back and legs are... Yeah, it must be exhausting to swim Go diving twice in a day and then work the whole night in a sushi bar. You're a bit clumsy but not bad for your first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, alright.
In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Ooh. Not the delivery. Ooh. Some debris in the ocean. That does not look good. I guess the diver, not the diver, the boat driver is not gonna survive that. Poor people in their packages that not gonna get delivered. I mean, how would the post service even explain that? Our transport boat got Knocked down by a giant squid-like creature? Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? <laughs> yes, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I came out to investigate after reports of anomalies in, anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Mm. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Mm. Hmm. I got a reward, but if you don't want to, that's fine by me. Mm. Uh, re reward? <laughs> well, I wasn't refusing, I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry, don't dally. Well, she's rude. You can use your phone to access various types of content. That's called Banjo. Not picking up. Never mind. Weather. It's gonna be sunny, sunny, sunny. Gonna be warmer tomorrow. Well, the weather seems similar to summer and where I live. Well, a bit cooler. <laughs> it's some days. Yellow back fussy, yay. Hmm, we read about this one earlier. Here you can see it a bit bigger. Seems like there's a sea urchin. Ooh, missed that one. You can't see it, but I can see my mouse. I just made it so the cursor isn't there, so it looks nicer for all you. Looks like a little shrimpy over here. Titan Triggerfish. 
He does seem very triggered. A moray eel. Salt. Look at the little seahorse. You can see it really small over there. Makes sense since seahorses are very small after all. That <laughs> seemed quite brutal, smashing that little fish into the rock. This big fish. Oh, we got him. Green hump pet parrotfish. What's in this little box? Underwater scooter. Better help since we're slower. We need to find the other a red starfish for that rude girl Ellie. Hello little shrimpy. I don't like the bat. Anyway, we can get some oxygen. Let's get the other starfish later. Biggest fish is the humphead parrotfish. <laughs> you got cup of plutang, rainbow wrasse, triggerfish. You get the orbicular batfish, yellow back fusilier, green humphead parrotfish, salt eager and kajime. Mm. All right. Dave, did you do snap yesterday? Mm. Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. I won't be able to go. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm, I did notice that the fish in a blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce him to Duff. <laughs> Alright. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't a nice thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Mm. People who live in glass houses. Mm -hmm. So what is this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. And now I'm in need of some weapon stuff. I need your help. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Season 2 of Stra Stella just ended anyway. 
I'll give you a listen. Alright, I will actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside of it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us weapons that can be used inside. Yeah. Hmm. That is rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis, hypothesis is that anything that does not come from the materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true for guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get materials from the sea ourselves. Ha, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dave. You'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. <laughs> I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him, Dave, right? Enter the blue hole and bring back a rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to get one item back out. Always keep that in mind. Alright, alright. Ooh, pretty jellyfish. Barrel jelly. Large cylindrical jellyfish shaped like a giant mushroom or bell. Eight wrinkled tentacles, favorite food of the world's largest sea turtle, the leatherback. Hmm. Sea turtles are adorable. Oh, there's a red starfish on the bottom left. Let's grab this quickly before anything. Some of those. Let's see what else we can find down here. Should grab some of those. through here. Oh, scrap iron over here. There's some jellyfish. one of them with us as well. Oh, we can get it. Let's get this little one. Ow. Just to you know, the basically the oxygen counts as health. Ah, uh, 
I'd rather have that. There we go. Let's go back up. Shrimpy. The god rays, though. Let's return to the boat. Well, the thing you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make a basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. Fifteen damage, five range, eight magazine. Um, he goes. What is going on in this game? With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open the weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapons chests? You can't bring them out of the water, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. Okay. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this shall do for now. I give you a reward, as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Soy sauce, olive oil and gold. Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job, there should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time and I'll repair it. I really hope customers keep coming. Alright. I really do not like Ellie. She has such an attitude for no reason. Even though we help her. There you go. Colorful mosaic patterns formed by its scales has earned it the nickname Picasso fish. It has a pointed snout free to five large scales behind its gills. Lagoon triggerfish. Fried egg jellyfish. Generally less than 17 centimeters wide, but can grow up to 40 centimeters in diameter. As its name suggests, they resemble a fried egg, the most common jellyfish in the Mediterranean Sea. There's a soy sauce, olive oil, titan triggerfish, huge triggerfish measured around 75 centimeters with a yellow body, dark spots around its eyes and sharp teeth. It is found in coral reefs and steep surfaces of submerged rocks and feeds on coral, sea urchins and so on. Green humphead parrotfish. The largest fish that lives in cor coral reefs, grows up to 150 centimeters long, can weigh more than 75 kilograms. With its powerful beak-like mouth, it breaks apart and eats coral. That's the agar. A G 
genus of Taloid red algae. It's used to make supple agar. And there's the kajime. All right. No, oh, here he goes. That will give us a lot of money. Mm. Let's not do that yet. Yellow back. Go Bancho. It does look good. Yes. Yep, Bancho. Nice, we made a lot of money. Are you Dave by any chance? No. Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always worried about these things. Dr. Payton. Wow, I'm always right about these things. Ha! Dr. Bacon. <laughs> what a weird name. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? Ha, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People civilization lives in legends. They are said to occupy the thing. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in depths allowing them to flourish without the concern of invasion. Suddenly, the sea floor. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth, nothing more. But Proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find. One that could turn the whole academic world upside down. It's an ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or 
games. Mm -hmm. What makes you so sure they are real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from a no known civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistants told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. I'm busy with the sushi, but I don't think we get... Haha! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Panzo Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. I suppose you have a point. Mm. Alright, I'll help. Ha, huh, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for explanations. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Oh. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I installed the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Good, now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Oh. Once you have enough money, use the eye diver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that if anything happens in deep water, I'll be in touch. Traces of the Sea People. That's it for the first episode. Let's watch the waves. Hold on. There we go. Let's watch the calm waves as we fade into black and go into the next episode. I shall see you then when we're ready to dive yet again.